can a computer ever be expected to understand our emotions? A team at a British university are trying to teach computers to do just that by giving a machine the ability to assess how the person using it feels. In future, the computers that we interact with might be able to tell how we're feeling. That could improve the experience of communicating with a machine. These researchers at Cambridge University in England are trying to teach computers to recognise our emotions. This driving simulator is measuring stress and how that affects our facial expressions. Ian Davis, a researcher in effective computing, says if the driver's overloaded, the car's computer could decide to minimise distractions. If you're a driver and you're very stressed and you're overloaded with uh, busy traffic and bad weather, maybe it would be a bad idea to let your phone ring. Uh, maybe it would be a good idea to prevent your phone from ringing and uh, alert you later that somebody tried to call you. But communication's a two-way street, so the team want computers to be able to talk back with the same emotional awareness. Tadis Baltrashaitis is developing a virtual persona for computer okay. users to communicate with, one you can get along with. If you come up to an information desk, instead of having a real person sitting there, you could ask the virtual character for directions or what good. And if the virtual character responds to your emotional cues and responds emotionally themselves, if they smile or if they look embarrassed, if they don't know something, then that might improve your whole experience. The sympathetic face of computing might not be virtual. Meet Charles, a robot who's sensitive to how you feel. It's detecting my eyebrows and my mouth and my head movements. Laurel Rick um, says they're basically trying to imbue computers with social intelligence. If you can imagine um, having a mobility aid in your home that picks you up and carries you to another room or something that um, helps you brush your teeth if you become paralyzed or unable to move your arms. Um, facilitating that sort of knowledge and understanding um, is really important for lots of populations of people. Teams say they're making progress but admit that the more subtle an expression or gesture is, the more difficult it'll be for a computer to recognize it. Welcome to our world, computers.